Hi everyone, my name is Anaga and I'm part of the data science discovery team and in this video today we're going to be doing a question on a percent of a grade. So let's go ahead and get started. So here we want to write Python code to find the percentage of A's given in every section of every course at Illinois, right? So uh, the percentage of A's must be added into a new column called percent %A and the uh, percentage should be left as a decimal number, right? Uh, for example, if there's like, you know, 100 total students in the course, 10 of them got A's, then percent %A would be 10 over 100 or 0 0.1. So before we you know kind of do anything the first thing we want to do is to look at our actual data frame right <clears throat> to see what type of data we are given right so i just want to go ahead and output my df and over here we see that you know there's also a description here but but it's basically these are all the columns and, and this kind of represents the courses that are available at uh, u of i including their year you know like the term uh, the subject, the, the course number, course title, the schedule type, as well as all of these um, grade columns, which basically show how many students in that course got that specific grade. So for example, um, if we look at the A column, it's how many students got an A in that class. So if we have intro to Asian American studies, we can see here that 13 students got an A out of 29 total students, right? And the total number of students is shown in this last students column. So our goal here is to uh, write the code to find the percentage of A's given in every section of every course at Illinois. And I know this can be a bit confusing, but every section of every course means um, it means each row, right? Because each row represents a different section of a you know different course here. So we can see that although these first four or first five courses are intro to Asian American studies, these are different sections. So each row represents a section of, you know, any course at Illinois. So we basically just want to add this column called percent, a, percent A's that gives the percentage of uh, students that received an A in the course. So kind of before we write any code, <laughs> Uh, a good thing to do is really plan out what the code should reflect, right? So here we just want to create a new column, create new column called percent %A, right? Which stores the percentage of A's that um, were given in that class. And how we find that information is really by looking at two key columns here, right? Um, and, and this really relates to this example above, right? If there's 10 A's given and 100 total students in the course, then how we find percent A's is 10 divided by 100, which is 0 0.1. So we divide the number of students who received an A by the number, by the total number of students in that course. And that can be uh, received from two columns, right? The first column is A. We want to see how many students got an A in that course. And the second important column is students, because that shows how many total students are in the course. And if you're ever confused by the column descriptions, right, it actually says right here, students um, reflects the total number of students in that course. And this uh, th this description reflects like each grade represents you know the number of that particular grade for that course. So to find percent A, we want to do the um, number of students who got an A divided by the total number of students. So now when we actually start coding it out, we want to use DF right because that's what we call our data frame, and we want to create a new column. So to create a new column. And this is the syntax here. I want to do df and then in brackets, I want to write my new column name. Right here, my new column should be called a percent A's. So um, this right here creates a new column called percent A in our original data frame. And what do I want that column to equal? Well, I want it to be the percentage of students who got an A in that course, which is um, you know, dividing basically the A column and the, num the and the students column. So we refer to columns the same way as we create new columns with that bracket notation, right? So DF uh, A refers to this column right here. And I just want to divide those two columns because I want to get the total percentage of students who got an A, which is just um, the A column divided by the students column. So DF A divided by DF students. And now when I print out my data frame, you can see here that it looks the same, except for one small change, which is that new column that we just added, right? And this reflects the total number, uh, the, the basically the percentage of students who received an A in that course. So it's the same thing as, for example, for this first row, 
13 divided by 29, which gives us this around 45%. So um, by, by you know creating this new column, we can actually divide the A by the students to get that sort of calculation for every single row. And you know that's really what the question is asking us. It's just asking us to find the percentage of A's given in every section, create a new column called percent A. And if we uh, submit our code, you know we get it right because uh, you know that's really what we did here. So if you have any questions, let me know. I hope this video was helpful and I'll see you next time. Bye.